Hey everyone, how you doing? This is Brian. Uh, today we're going to talk about replacing a potentiometer. I had a viewer who has an issue with his machine where the potentiometer, which is your pressure control, wants to creep up as he's using the machine, which is not a good thing. Especially if you're trying to do fine finish work, you don't need that increased pressure. Before we get started, uh, we want to talk about a little bit about safety here. So we got to uh, make sure you're unplugged so that you don't get shocked. Wear all appropriate safety gear so you don't get hurt. We're here to try to help you, not hurt you or kill you. So uh, as I mentioned before, this is a working shop. So there's times I have to stop the camera in order to help a customer take a phone call. But I try to do continuous runs on my videos. So that way you can see in real time how long a lot of this takes. Uh, the, anything seems too complicated for you, I don't advise you doing it. Uh, anything requires special tools, just let it go, take it to a certified repair shop. Uh, nothing that I'm going to show you is a substitute for taking your equipment to a certified repair shop. This is strictly to help you out in a time of need, but it does not substitute a good qualified repair shop, certified technician to do the work that needs to be done. So today we've got a, uh, an old 395 Graco. And this is going to be similar <clears throat> on Graco and Titan. There's not a great deal of difference in these, but for the most part, all of these that have the uh, uh, potentiometer uh, similar to this right here, it's just a rotation of, of a digital knob. Uh, this is going to be very similar. So I went ahead and took the uh, screws off the cover. There's four of them. Take those off, pull the cover off, and you can see that black item right there, that's the potentiometer, and you can follow that black wire and see where it plugs into that white piece right there. So to remove this, all we gotta do on your knob is remove the Allen screw here. Well, you don't have to remove it, just loosen it up. Loosen this one up, this knob will pull right off. You may have to pry it just slightly, but it'll pull right off. And then you'll see a stem like this. There's going to be, you got two nuts. You got one on the bottom, which is under the, the box here. And then you got one that's going to sit on top. You're going to remove this nut here. And once you do that, this potentiometer will just drop right down into the, uh, the control box. You'll reach over here to the wire. And if you just pull the wire, it'll pull right off. And you see it's a white connector. And this is a a white connection here as well. So there's no wrong no wrong place to plug it in. But as you can see on the uh, the wire or the connection, there's a, a, a lip at the top. The lip goes up to grab onto the uh, clip in here. So once you've removed, this is very simple. This isn't gonna be a very long video at all today, guys. So once you've removed the, or loosened the two Allen nuts, pull the cap off, this will uh, have a nut on it. You'll take the nut off. This will drop down. You'll pull the wire. You'll take the new one, which is part number 17D888, and you'll just slide it back up into the hole. You'll take the new nut and tighten it back up, and you see you've got a uh, flat side on your, your potentiometer. Your knob will only go on here one way, so it'll slide only on one way. Once you've tightened the knot, uh, nut up, you slide your cap on, and then you tighten up the two Allen screws that are in your new cap, and you're done here. And you're going to reach down in here, and you're going to take the wire, and you're just going to feed it back up in here and plug it in. Simple as that. Once you've done that, tuck your wires in out of, out of the way. Once you've done that, you've pretty much completed the job. You put your cover back on, and you're ready to go. Usually these don't wear out. They last a pretty long time, but it's not something you're going to have to do very often. But it is very easy to replace this uh, as long as you're safe, units unplugged and whatnot. Then there's not much you can do wrong unless you just, uh, unless you just, uh, you really don't need to be doing it if you, if you can't handle that. Um, any other questions, any other requests, please feel free to give me a uh, comment down below. And I'll try to find some equipment. Uh, this, this gentleman here asked this particular weekend about it, so I went ahead and found one that I could pull out here real quick and show you. I didn't actually replace it, but it, this is so simple. I didn't feel the need to actually put one on to show you. Um, it's, it's simple. If you can't handle this, just stick with the painting. Um, 
like I said, any questions, comments, whatever, uh, shoot me a message. Uh, please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Be safe.